Hey, what's good? What's good, everybody? Welcome to the channel, Double Butter Entertainment. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and uh, we really, really would appreciate it. Teofimo Lopez. Why is such hate with this guy, man? I understand the shit he does outside the ring. You know what I mean? Him, his father, money hungry. You know what I mean? Has ego, you know what I mean? Talk down on everybody like he's the baddest man on the planet. Threw his own promoter under the bus. Won a 10 million. His father won the 10 million to fight Devin Haney. And all of the above. But are we judging him outside the ring? Or are we judging him inside the ring? So what is going to, what is going to be? Because um, it seems like there's a lot of hate and a lot of animosity towards this guy. And I understand. He's an ego he an ego dude, man. I mean, ego and pride, you know what I mean? Think he's the best in the world. But what fighter don't think that? What fighter don't do all that stuff that he's doing? You know, he's young. He's immature. His father is um, immature. He, so he ain't getting no, no real role model because his father, you know, is an asshole. You know, they step... They uh stop talking for about stop talking for about six months and then cetera. But are we judging him inside the ring or outside the ring? Some of you again, y'all get mad at this guy. Like I just heard a video he talking about, you know, Devin Haney. Y'all God, the second God. Y'all love this guy. Y'all think he's the second coming of Mayweather. Then you get mad at Tiafimo when he said that Devin Haney is an email champion. All right. Is he an email champion or did he beat somebody for the belt? No, I'm, I'm listening. I mean, so you guys got to stop the bulls crap about, you know, different fighters. You got to stop the racist um, stuff in this fighting and boxing and all that crap, man. You know, we want the best to fight the best. Teofimo Lopez, in my opinion, is one of the best fighters. And in my opinion, Devin Haney can't whoop him. So, you know. The Rebuttal Entertainment, we go live at 8.30 every night. If you got something to say about it, come on on the show and tell me why you think Devin Haney can beat him. But let me tell you this. If they fight, don't bet your house because you're going to be sleeping in my basement. Y'all need to leave this man, this young man alone. Let him do his thing. You know what I mean? If he fucking up his career, that's his career. You know what I mean? I'm not going to go off on Teofimo Lopez because what he's saying outside of the ring. I, I just really don't care for the stuff these guys does outside the ring unless it's hurting women or something like that but other than that the talk is just talk you know getting each other face at um these events and talking about who got the better followers and all that stuff and you know what i mean i'm the unified champ and he's not and all that stuff but where did he lie about saying that he's not you know what i mean if you really want to if you really want to talk about it he won all them belts for Devin Haney. I mean, from um, Lo, um, Lomo, right? So, <laughs> what's the problem? You know what I mean? So, the franchise and all this other stuff. And then, so he got a belt. Blame the WBC. That's what we need to blame. Fuck all the talking about this stuff. Blame the WBC. Blame Mauricio Suleiman for all these problems we got. Because, go back and listen to some of the videos he say. He playing both sides of the story. He say Devin is the champ, the WBC. Then sometimes he'll be like, Teofimo the champ. But then lately he'll say Devin is I mean, you need to blame Mauricio Suleiman if you're going to blame anybody. So in terms of all that, to me, I'm going to look at um, Teofimo Lopez as the champ. Fuck the unification. He's just the champ with all the belts. Devin didn't win it from nobody. You know what I mean? A lot of fighters didn't win their belts from nobody. They got them. But... He didn't do it the right way. So, if y'all don't like Teofimo Lopez, that's on you guys. You know what I mean? I know his character is nothing. And I know he's an asshole to thing to say. But can he fight? That's what we need to be asking ourselves. Can Teofimo Lopez fight? As Nakatani. As Richard Comey. As Lomachenko. Can he fight? Inside the ring. You know what I mean? But yet, y'all keep throwing all this stuff, this Devin Haney's and all the stuff that can beat this man. What makes you guys think 
that Devin Haney can beat Teofimo Lopez? Leave it in the comment section or come on my show and tell me. What you got? What can Devin Haney do inside the ring against an A-class fighter that makes you guys think he can beat Teofimo Lopez? What, he just going to jab the death and move? It's, so ev evidently, that's what you guys think he's going to do. You know what I mean? Tilafimo Lopez already have the blueprint when fighting Devin Haney. Not saying they the same people, Devin Haney and Lomachenko. But he already has the blueprint, and Lomachenko has more pop than Devin. So, you know, they both move, but, you know, um, Loma moved angles and stuff like that. Devin do it too. Devin a little quicker, faster, and stuff like that. But if that's all he got, is that's the sh stuff that... Um, makes you think Devin Haney can beat Teofimo Lopez or because he's black and all these black podcasters and stuff like that love Devin Haney. You know what I mean? Tell me. Come on my podcast or leave a comment and not in detail. Tell me why you guys think this man can beat Teofimo Lopez because I'm tired of hearing it. Prove me wrong. You know, if they ever fight, we will see. If they ever fight, we will see. But um, until then, until then, we don't know. But, you know what I mean? Y'all always, y'all use the eye test so much, it's just horrendous. Especially when the guy had to fought nobody. He fought Lenores, a C-plus fighter back then when he fought. He didn't fight Lenores three years ago when he was um, a, a B-plus fighter, a, a A fighter or whatever he was. So, y'all need to stop this being biased and prejudiced, man. Because this guy is an asshole outside of the ring. You don't like, and his father is an asshole outside the ring. You guys don't like him. But we had um, journalists and podcasts supposed to judge the guys in the ring doing what they do best. And to me, there's only one guy that... At um, 35, that can be Teofimo Lopez. His name is Javante Tank Davis. Other than that, there's nobody beating that man. And, you know, y'all can say whatever y'all want. You can get mad. You know, you can call Bill Haney and let him come tell y'all more lies and stuff like that, man. Leave Teofimo Lopez alone. Let the young guy live his life and enjoy his life. If he want to if he wanna be unders undisputed, he think he's undisputed, fine. Let it, let it be. You know what I mean? But one thing he can say, them belts wasn't emailed to him. He got his ass in the ring and fought for them belts. So tell me that part. I don't give a fuck what you say, how it happened, how he got it. How Devin got his belt. I know for a fact Teofimo Lopez beat Lomachenko for them belts. Inside the ring. So all this foolishness you guys keep talking about this Devin Haney and who's the undisputed and unified or what the hell it is, man. Get over it. We all know Teofimo Lopez got an ego problem. His father's a clown and all this stuff. But are you guys going to keep judging these people outside the ring or are you guys that podcast and journalists and fans going to start judging these guys Inside the ring, like you post to judge them inside the ring. You know what I mean? That's all need to be said. His resume, Devin's resume, and a lot of these other resumes, it just, he fought the better fighters. So, stop the nonsense, man, until they get in the ring and swing. We want the best to fight the best. We know they're going to talk, they're all young, they brash, they got egos, they got pride, you know what I mean? They full a lot of testosterone. They want to fight each other. But until then, hey, it is what it is, man. It is what it is. But like I said before, the rebuttal entertainment go, comes on at 8.30 every night. We don't do boxing on Tuesdays, but any other night, you can come on and tell me why you think Devin Haney can beat Teofimo Lopez. And I will rebuttal your ass all day and night long and tell you why he can't beat him. And he won't beat them. The rebuttal entertainment. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button. Tell a friend. Tell a friend if you don't mind. And we will talk to you guys later. Peace.